What's up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and we are here today with a review for Zatima Season 1, Episode Number 6. I need to fix this nose ring. There we go. Can y'all see it? Nope. Season season 1, Episode 6, the episode title, Cutting Ties, you guys. So before we jump into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other on the channel, and you guys aren't yet subscribed, I need you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys can do me that favor by liking the video, so by giving me a big huge thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, turning on those post notifications, and by sharing the video, you guys. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's discuss Zatima on BET Plus, shall we? Alright, you guys, so this episode, it picks up where the last one left off with Tony showing Zach the, vid the video or steal that he had of Fatima meeting up with Ian. And Fatima's upstairs and she's asking Zach, is everything okay? But Zach never said anything to her. So Zach did eventually tell Tony and Nate that they got to leave, right? Now, it was interesting, right? The dialogue. Because Zach kept saying leave, but Tony, not Tony, but Nate kept wanting to talk to Zach. I'm like, dude, you just sat here and really told your other friend to show your man a video or a picture of his girlfriend, the one that he's been telling y'all he's in love with, with another dude. And you want to sit here and talk to him. I would have told Tony, I would have told Tony, get out. If you don't get out, I am going to put you out. Not Tony, but Nate, 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 Nate. We got to get together. I would have told Nate to get the hell out. And even Tony was like, yeah, this is a different Zach. So yeah, we need to go. So they left. So then, you know, we see Zach. So Zach went upstairs. He took a shower. So he got out the shower and he sees Fatima in the bathtub. So he's talking to Fatima. He's asking her, you know, you seem upset. And then he starts asking Fatima, like, how was her day? He says his day was good and he has a new tenant. That he's, you know, he's about to move in. And I was like, he said she this time. And she was like, okay. So then he says, what's wrong with you? Are you still upset about Belinda? See, she said partly. He says, well, what is the other part? So then he's, like I said earlier, he was asking her about her day. So he asked her how it was work. She tells him, he said, well, you didn't, you know, come right home after work. So what did you do? So she then tells him she went to the coffee shop. So he asked her, did you go to the coffee shop by yourself? And that's when she was kind of like, if you want to ask me something, ask me. He says, I think I just did. So that's when she tells him she went to the coffee shop with Ian and Zach is getting dressed right. So he gets upset and he leaves. Now, Zach, that picture that Tony has, right? Granted, she is embracing him, but you don't see her kissing him. So it's just a hug. Now, yes, it is her ex, but you didn't allow her to explain the situation. Granted, she did not tell you about this issue. She didn't tell you this. So I can see both sides of, this, of the coin when it comes to Fatima and it comes to Zach. I can see both sides of this coin that she didn't tell him everything. And he, you know, so uh, let me know whose side you guys land on. Let me know whose side you guys land on because I find myself in the middle because I get Fatima. Fatima doesn't know what to say. Because she doesn't, one, 100% know if Ian has cancer, number one. And this is a tricky situation. This is tricky. And I get Zach's frustration. Like, damn, we talking about we love each other. You moving in with me, but then you out with this nigga. So I get it. I get it from both sides. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. So let me know where you guys lie. And we will pause here and move forward. So after Zach got dressed, he told Fatima, yo, I'm getting ready to go out with the guys. And she tells him, don't you do anything stupid, Zach. I'm like, mm, we're talking about Zachary here. He's going to do something stupid, unfortunately. So when Zach left, Fatima called up Angela. So Angela's at home with Bryce. Oh, God, you guys. The dialogue. It be the dialogue for me. Because it doesn't, so, the dialogue isn't terrible, right? It just doesn't come off. So, when it comes to the relationships, let's say that. When it comes to the relationships, 
some of these relationships don't seem like they have any kind of real chemistry like like you could see them together in real life now with zach and fatima we could absolutely see them being a couple if he wasn't married to kadeem right because they have but they have the reason why they have such great energy is because they're friends in real life that's why they have such great energy on camera now when angela and bryce the fact that they be they so lovey dovey and talking about oh i love you and i'm like mm, I don't feel it. I don't feel anything when it comes to Bryce and Angela. Both two, you know, beautiful people, but I just don't see it. Don't see it at all. Um, so yeah, Fatima called Angela asking Angela to come over. She said, Yeah, I'll be over there. So she tells Bryce that, right? And she, you know, he says, Well, I'll go with you. She says, No, babe, you stay. He's I, I can sit in the car until you come back. She was like, No, babe, you stay. We had that quite. We had that back and forth. I was like, "Here we go with Tyler's back and forth." You guys know how I feel about that. So she eventually left, right? So then we see Zach. So Zach pulls up to this party, right? Now I don't know who's throwing this party. I don't even know what kind of party this is because it looks like a pool party. Because you see some people in swim. You see some people in swimwear, right? But then you see other people in, like, club clothes. So I was like, what kind of party is this? But, hey, it is what it is. Also, at this party, we see Zach's potential baby mama. I forget what her name is, but we see Zach's potential baby mama there. So I want to pause here, you guys, and I'm going to move forward. So we see Angela. So Angela has pulled up to Zach and Fatima's crib, right? So she noticed that Zach's car is not there, right? She ain't even went in the house yet, but she calls Bryce. And says that, you know, Zach ain't here. And I think that him and Fatima got into a fight. How you know that, sis? Just asking. How you know they got into a fight? So he says he'll call Zach up, right? So he calls Zach. Zach answered the phone. He says, I was thinking about you. He says, I need you to calm me down. And he says, okay, so where are you? He says, I'm at this place off of Mission Street. Off of Mission. He says, okay, well, how about we go to the diner that's in the area? So Zach says, okay. So Zach is out there by his car at this point. So when Zach is getting ready to leave, up walks Toya Turnup, a.k.a. Deja. And I think the reason why I couldn't recognize, I didn't recognize, recognize her 100% at front at first because she didn't have the gold in her mouth. But she's so beautiful. And it's, it's interesting. I didn't, when I first, so when I first saw her on, 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 YouTube, on not YouTube, but on Instagram years ago, I actually thought that the Toya Turn Up voice was her real voice. But to see it, but you know, I'm like, okay. When I finally find out, I'm like, oh, that's just a character she plays? Okay. So she showed up, right? She got this big blue fur like thing on her. And she's like, how do you know um, Jerome? Exactly. Like, I don't know that. I don't know that man. He's like, my boy's inviting me to this party. He's like, what are you doing here? She, so come to find out, Deja, she, because he said, I thought you were a nail tech. Because she said she came down to work. He said, I thought you was a nail tech. She says, I am a nail tech in the day. But at night, she's a private dancer. He was like, oh, so you work at the pole. She's like, I don't work that, that ghetto ass place with, that, with the good ass wings. So they have a conversation. So she was going in there because she's going to be dancing, right? And so she is telling Zach, why don't you come in and, you know, come, come in. So Zach was like, eh. but then she, then he followed her inside to the uh, inside, right? So we get inside and we see the football player, right? So this is a party that he's putting on for his girlfriend. So he said that you know he talked to his girl and he was, she was like, she wanted to have a party with strippers. He was like, hell no. Nah. And then he said that she told him, nigga, I don't mean male strippers, I mean females. And I was looking at him, I was like, um, sir. I'm a hope and pray that this white woman did not call you a nigga. But you know what though? There are some black men that will allow their white girlfriends to call them niggas. I just don't understand why. So he flew in from some of the baddest strippers from all over the world. I was like, all over the country or wherever the hell he flew in from. I'm like, uh, okay. So then Deja, she gets up there, she starts dancing. No shade to Deja, I wouldn't have paid for that dance. 
So at one point, they called Tony and um, Nate called her over there because they noticed that she was giving Zach the eye. So they told her, come over here. <laughs> now this shit, this was funny to me. I cracked up laughing, you guys. Because did y'all see? So when, um, <laughs> oh God, when um, Deja came and stood in front of Zach and started twerking and the smile that was on Duvall's face, it was hilarious to me. His face when he would he he was dancing with Deja. I cracked up laughing. It was hilarious. It was funny to me. It was funny. It was funny. I couldn't stop laughing. But let's pause here, you guys, and I think we're gonna wrap up this episode. All right, you guys. So Fatima and Angela, they're at her at their house, right? So there's a somebody is bamming at the door, and Fatima goes and answers the door. Come to find out, it's Zach's brother, Jeremiah, which we've never heard about. But we heard about him in the last episode. So, he comes to the house and he's being mad sketchy. And I'm like, um, sir, do you want to get a hole blasted in you? Because I would have blasted a hole in the nigga. So, come to find out, he doesn't have Zach's phone number. Zach hasn't told him about Fatima. But Fatima can't be mad about this situation, right? Because if you notice, he didn't know about the house. He, Because at one point he asked Fatima, did she buy the house? So, so Fatima can't be mad about this particular situation because obviously Zach is not talking to his family. So if he's not talking to his family, then his family wouldn't know about you or this house, right? So I can't, so Fatima shouldn't be mad at him about that, but I think she is going to be mad at him about that. So then over at the party, Bryce showed up to get Zach. Zach was drunk as hell. And Deja told um, Bryce, yeah, please take him home. Take him home. And she says, I'll see you tomorrow, Zach. So then we move back over to Angela and Fatima. So Fatima is, you know, Angela asked Fatima if she's going to see Ian's mother. She was like, no, that woman loves me. Like, she didn't even go to his wedding because she didn't like that girl. So then, you know, um, Angela's asking her about Zach. And she tells her, you know, um, the reason why they, you know, they're into it right now. They're having this little disagreement is because he knows about her going to go see Ian. And she just wasn't ready to tell him. And I'm, I'm okay with that, right? So then her phone rings and it's Belinda texting her. And then Angela's phone rings and it's Belinda texting her. And she's like, what does she say? She's like, oh, girl, nothing. Don't worry about it. So then she says, what did she say? Don't lie to me. She said, she didn't say anything. She says, give me your phone, Angela. So she, Angela gives her the phone. She says, look at it. And Angela... She said, don't do that, Angela. Straighten your face up. So Angela straightens her face up so she can open it, right? And come to find out, Belinda is at the party. And she got a picture of Zach with Deja. I need to blow my nose. She got a picture of Zach with Deja. Um, and that's where the episode ended, you guys. So this week is episode seven and eight. So do we have four more episodes left? I think somebody told me on Twitter we got ten episodes of this season. So we got, what, two this week and two next week? All right, you guys, we, we we rocking and we rolling. And I'm enjoying the team. I just really, it's the dialogue. I think that's, if, if we could, if Tyler Perry and his, if he got, if he, I think he got writing teams on this show. If we could just clean up the dialogue a little bit, because the transitions are really good on this show. I will give him that. The transitions are good. It's just, some of the dialogue is just, a little bit long and some of it doesn't seem real I would say like scenes with Tony and Nate they seem they it seems to me like it's being overacted and the scenes with Bryce and with Angela there's no chemistry or connection they might like each other as friends but there's just no connection right there like I don't see how y'all want me to believe that those two love each other and it doesn't come off that way. But that's it, you guys. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this episode. And I'll see you guys later. Um, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, share the video, you guys. And until the next time, also thumbs up the video. And also until the next time, you guys, stay safe, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, wear a mask, socially distance. I need to blow my nose. And I'll catch you guys later on tonight for The Oval. Is this season four of The Oval? I think so. I'll see you guys with season three, season four, whichever season it is. I'll see you guys later.